Hello everyone. Today I am going to teach about the basics of polynomials. So, what is polynomials? Polynomials and then okay. So, when an expression or an equation is written in a mathematical term consisting of variables and constants, it is called a polynomial. So, when when an equation or an expression it consists of uh, constants and variables, it is called a polynomial. So, since we know the definition of polynomials, what is constants and variables? Okay, now let's take an example as, let's take a term 7x. So, in 7x, we know the value of, uh, we know what 7 is. 7 is a fixed value. We can't replace 7 with any other number. We can't replace 7 with 6 replace because 7 is a fixed number. But in the x in the value, we can substitute any number in the x. For example, we can use x in the 1 and 2, but we can't replace 7 in the x. So it's a fixed value. So constants are fixed values. Okay, so same way like I said, x can be replaced or substituted with any other number. So it is, uh, so it is a varying number. So it's called a variable. So the value is, uh, so the value varies. Okay. Now let's say, okay, every polynomial has a standard form. That is called a x square plus b x plus c. So that standard form where a, b and c are the constants and x is the variable. So in this, a, 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 B and C will be the constants and uh, X will be the variable. Okay, now let's uh, take, uh, let's put value for A, B and C. So for example, we put 7X square plus 2X plus 5. So uh, here the constants will be 7, 2 and 5 because the values don't change. And, uh, and X will be a, a varying number so it will become the variable in that equation. Okay, so now we know a polynomial consists of a variable and a constant. But there are two more missing things and I already told you the standard form of polynomials. The standard form is ax square plus bx plus c. So what is missing? There is a degree, like when we write a x square, there is a number, there is a uh, power to that, uh, to the standard form. So, the degree, okay, what is the degree of the polynomials? The highest power of p of x is called as the degree of the polynomial. So, the highest value of x in, in that equation or an expression is called as the degree of the polynomial. So, like we took in the standard form, ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So the highest power there is equal to is 2. Okay. And for example, now if we take 6x square plus 8x plus 3 is equal to 0. So here the highest power will be 2. So this 2 will be the degree of the polynomial. And this uh, that is 6, 8 and 3 will be the constants. And x will be the variable in the equation. Then we will write the expression and equation. Then we will write the expression and equation. Okay. Then we will write the polynomial and the expression and the equation. Then we will express the expression. So a polynomial can be expressed in an equation and as an expression. So how do you differentiate between an expression and an equation? We have to differentiate it and we have to be When an equal to sign comes with an expression, it becomes an equation. So for example, uh, 5 a, uh, 5x plus 6. That is equal to, it's not given. What is it equal to? So it is an expression. It is just, it's just a term. It is, it's called 5x plus 6. There is nothing, there is nothing more than that. And the next one, 2x plus, uh, 2x minus 9 equal to 0. There an equal to is coming. It equals to something. So it is called an equation. Okay, now another example is 
13x plus 7 equal to 0. So that is in equation. So this is in equation. And for uh, 24x square plus 6x plus 4. It's not given equal to anything. So it is a expression. So we learned about how a polynomial is formed and what a polynomial consists of. So now we are going to learn about the types of polynomials. We have type of polynomial and we have guess here. On the linear polynomial, quadratic polynomial and the cubic polynomial. Okay, now we have a linear polynomial and the quadratic polynomial and the cubic polynomial and the differentiate. So now, now we learn the degree of polynomial. Degree is the highest power of that equation or an expression. So in linear polynomial, now we term term linear. Linear means 1. So the highest degree of that, uh, the, the polynomial will be 1. And uh, in a quadratic polynomial, the highest degree will be 2. Because quadratic, it means 2. So the highest degree is 2. And in a cubic polynomial, as we, as we already know from the term, Cubic means 3, so the highest degree will be 3. So for example, for linear equation, example will be 4x plus 2. It's just, we can take any number, but the highest power, uh, the highest, the degree of that polynomial should be 1. And in the quadratic polynomial, uh, let's take an example as uh, x square plus 25. So um, in x square plus 25, the highest degree is 2. And for cubic polynomial, example is uh, 3, 3 cube plus 4x, uh, 4x square plus 5. So the highest power there is 3. So the degree of that polynomial is 3. Therefore, it is a cubic polynomial. Okay, now what if the value comes as uh, 0, like x, x raised to 0. If x in, x in number x raised to 2 bar new, x raised to 3 bar new, x, ra x matram bar new. If x raised to 0 bar new, x raised to 0 so, uh, a polynomial with degree 0 will be a constant polynomial. That is, x is equal to, uh, x raised to 0 is equal to 1. Okay. Next, we are going to learn about the value of the polynomial or zeros of the polynomial. Now, what is the value of a polynomial? Value of the polynomial can be expressed as the final value of solving an expression or an equation given in a polynomial. So when we solve the equation and whatever value we get for x is called the value of the equation. If we have a real number k, when we have the p of x in assigned chamber such that p of k equal to 0, it is called the 0 of the polynomial. If we have an example, we have to solve it. p of x is equal to 3x minus 18. So 3x minus 18 is out of the polynomial. Uh, we have to find the zero of the polynomial. Then we have x in the number of value. For example, first let's take p of x is equal to 1. So p of x is equal to 1. Um, so we have p of 1 equal to 3 into 1. E equation number uh, substitute number 3 into 1 minus 18. That is equal to 3 minus 18 which is equal to minus 15. So, p of 1 is equal to minus 15. That, so, uh, x is equal to 1. So, that is one of the zeros of the polynomial. Now, if we take uh, the value of uh, x as 2 and we give p of 2 equal to 3 into 2, that is, we substitute the values. So, 3 into 2 minus 18, then that is equal to 6 minus 18, which is equal to minus 12. Now, again we can substitute with another value. This we can, sub, we can substitute x with any value we want. So, if we take 3, another example, if we take 3, then we substitute it again in the equation, in the polynomial. And we get 3 into 3 minus 18, that is equal to 9 minus 18, which equals to minus 9. So, those uh, uh, 1, 2 and 3 are the zeros of the polynomial. Okay, now next topic is, Geometrical meaning of zeros of a polynomial. So we learned uh, what a polynomial is, 
variables, constants, standard form, degree, types of polynomials and how to find the value of a polynomial. Now, the next question is, can we represent them, can we represent this polynomial on a graph? Answer is, yes, we can. Then, we can represent a graph in the graph. We have three types of polynomials. First one, linear polynomial. Second one, uh, quadratic uh, polynomial and third one cubic polynomial. In first two, we will linear polynomial. We will graph the graph. We will graph the plot. We will plot a straight line. So when we plot a linear, uh, a linear polynomial onto a graph, we get a straight line. And when we plot a quadratic polynomial, we get a parabola. So what is a parabola? The U or V shape we get after plotting a graph. So one, when we plot a linear polynomial onto a graph, we get a straight line. And a quadratic polynomial, we get a parabola. Since we have completed the graphical representation of polynomials, now we are going to move on to the last topic that is number of solutions. As the name suggests, a linear polynomial has one solution and a quadratic polynomial has two solutions and a cubic polynomial has three solutions. I hope you all enjoyed and understood today's class. Thank you and have a nice day.